Salutations, welcome and well met. I'm Bright Wolf, your guide to all things mystically marvelous, and this is Gay Pagan Haven, the one-stop channel where magic meets pride. Today, we're embarking on a quest into the heart of Wiccan lore, exploring how the deities align with our vibrant gay selves. But here's the cosmic twist, we're not just chatting about gods in the abstract, we're revealing how they can shapeshift to resonate with our unique experiences and personalities. Now, the stakes are as high as Mount Olympus itself, because understanding these divine connections can transform your spiritual practice and bring you closer to the celestial dance of the universe. So, are you ready to get closer and form a mystical bond with your chosen deity? I believe in us, let's make it happen. But wait, there's a twist in our tale. Stick around until the end, and I'll unveil a hidden aspect of one of these deities that might just change the way you think about them forever. You may spell or pronounce things differently, but many people spell and pronounce things many different ways. Now, with all that said hit that like button, subscribe, and let's get this mystical party started. It's time to raise the curtain on the gay community and Wiccan deities, let the revelation begin. We will begin our journey with my two chosen deities, my matron, Hecate, and my patron, Pan. Pan or Faunus, the Greek god of the wild, shepherds, and flocks, is as untamed as nature itself. With his haunting melodies and his association with rustic landscapes, he embodies the spirit of freedom and the joy of living authentically. Pan's flirtatious nature and his liaisons with nymphs and shepherds alike make him a symbol of uninhibited sexuality. For the gay community, he represents the celebration of one's innate desires, the breaking of societal chains, and the embrace of a life lived outside the confines of the conventional. Pan's legacy encourages us to dance to the beat of our own drum, to love who we love, and to find magic in the natural world around us. Hecate, the ancient Greek goddess of magic, crossroads, and ghosts, stands at the intersection of life and the afterlife, of society and the individual. She is a protector of all who stand at the margins, offering guidance and wisdom to those navigating the complexities of identity. With her torches lighting the way, Hecate is a beacon for the gay community, illuminating paths to self-discovery and empowerment. Her ability to traverse different realms speaks to the queer experience of moving between various spaces and roles in society. Hecate's embrace of the liminal, the spaces in between, resonates deeply with those who defy binary definitions of gender and sexuality. Apollo, the luminescent Greek god of the sun, healing, and prophecy, shines his light on truth and knowledge. His love affairs with both men and women are celebrated in myth, positioning him as a deity with a fluid approach to love and desire. Apollo's patronage of the arts and music speaks to the creative soul of the gay community, inspiring us to express our truths through beauty and song. His sun chariot's daily journey across the sky symbolizes the consistency of visibility and the importance of being seen in our full splendor. Apollo's legacy is one of harmony, healing, and the radiant joy of living out loud. Hera, the Greek goddess of marriage and queen of the Olympian deities, embodies the ideals of commitment and the sanctity of unions. Despite her tumultuous relationship with Zeus, she is a figure of enduring loyalty, and her struggles resonate with the fight for recognition and equality and love that the gay community knows all too well. Hera's determination and protective nature inspire us to honor our relationships and to advocate for the respect they deserve. She teaches us the power of standing by our chosen family, through trials and triumphs, and the importance of nurturing the bonds we form. Hera's presence in our spiritual pantheon is a reminder that our love is divine, deserving of celebration and protection. Hermes, the fleet-footed Greek messenger of the gods, is the deity of communication, commerce, and cunning. His role as a guide for souls to the afterlife and his ability to move freely between the divine and mortal worlds make him a patron of transitions and journeys. For the gay community, Hermes symbolizes the importance of clear self-expression and the value of wit and intellect in overcoming obstacles. His trickster nature and playful demeanor remind us to approach life with a sense of humor and adaptability. Hermes encourages us to embrace our multifaceted identities and to communicate our truths with strength and charm. Hermaphroditus, born of the union between Hermes and Aphrodite in Greek mythology, embodies the fusion of male and female qualities. This androgynous deity challenges the binary notions of gender and celebrates the spectrum of human experience. 
For the gay community, hermaphroditis is a symbol of the fluidity of love and identity, representing the freedom to define oneself on one's own terms. Their story encourages us to embrace our complexities and to honor the diversity within ourselves and others. Hermaphroditus's legacy is a testament to the beauty of blending, to the power of living authentically in a world that often demands conformity. Cernunnos, the horned god of Celtic folklore, is a deity of fertility, life, animals, wealth, and the underworld. His antlers symbolize a connection to nature and the cycles of life, death, and rebirth. Cernunnos' wild and untamed aspects celebrate the primal, instinctual parts of our being, inviting us to connect with our inner strength and vitality. For the gay community, he represents the raw authenticity of our natures and the courage to live in tune with our true selves. Cernunnos' presence in our spiritual practice encourages us to embrace our sexuality with pride and to honor the natural world as a source of power and inspiration. Odin, the all-seeing Norse god of wisdom, war, and poetry, is a figure of profound complexity. His relentless quest for knowledge and his willingness to sacrifice for insight speak to the value of seeking truth, even at great cost. Odin's association with magic, particularly the traditionally female practice of cedar, shows his disregard for gender norms, resonating with the gay community's exploration of identity beyond traditional roles. His two ravens, Hugin and Munin, thought and memory, symbolize the importance of mindfulness and reflection, qualities that empower us to navigate the world with wisdom and foresight. Odin's legacy is one of courage, curiosity, and the transformative power of knowledge. Frey and Freya, the divine twins of Norse mythology, are deities of fertility, love, and prosperity. Freya, with her association with beauty and attraction, and Frey, linked to virility and prosperity, together embody the fullness of life's pleasures and the celebration of abundance. Their open and joyful embrace of love in all its forms is a powerful affirmation for the gay community's right to love and be loved without constraint. Freya's role as a practitioner of seed or a form of Norse magic, aligns with the transformative and intuitive aspects of queer spirituality. Together, they remind us to find joy in our connections and to honor the sacredness of pleasure and affection. The Morrigan, the Phantom Queen of Irish mythology, is a goddess of magic, fate, and witches. Her ability to shapeshift and foretell doom positions her as a deity of transformation and the inevitability of change. The Morgan's fierce protection of her land and people mirrors the gay community's fight for space and recognition in a world that often seeks to marginalize us. Her strength in the face of adversity inspires us to stand up for ourselves and our community with bravery and resilience. The Morgan's presence in our spiritual lives encourages us to embrace our power and to act with sovereignty over our own destinies. Angus Og, the Irish god of love and youth, is known for his beauty and his poetic soul. His story of winning his love through cleverness and persistence is a tale that resonates with the gay community's own narratives of overcoming barriers to love. Angus's association with dreams and illusions speaks to the power of vision and hope, essential qualities for those who dream of a world where love is celebrated in all its forms. His youthful spirit reminds us to approach love with the freshness and wonder of youth, to stay open to the possibilities that each new connection brings. Angus Og's influence in our lives is a call to live with passion, to love deeply, and to cherish the magic of romance. Quetzalcoatl, the Mesoamerican deity known as the Feathered Serpent, bridges the earth and the sky, matter, and spirit. His role as a creator god and a bringer of knowledge places him as a figure of enlightenment and cultural advancement. Quetzalcoatl's legacy of promoting arts and crafts resonates with the gay community's rich tradition of creativity and aesthetic expression. His story of self-sacrifice for the rebirth of humanity speaks to the transformative journey many in the gay community undertake in the pursuit of authenticity. Quetzalcoatl's presence in our spiritual pantheon encourages us to weave our stories with beauty and to aspire to a world enriched by diversity and wisdom. Bas, or Batet, the Egyptian goddess with the head of a lioness or a domestic cat, is the protector of the home, women, and secrets. Her dual nature as a fierce lioness and a nurturing domestic cat reflects the multifaceted identities within the gay community. Bast celebrations were known for music, dance, and joy, elements that are deeply ingrained in gay culture and its celebratory nature. Her role as a guardian against evil spirits aligns with the protective instincts within the community, safeguarding our spaces and our right to thrive. 
vast influence in our lives is a reminder to embrace both our strength and our capacity for joy, to protect our chosen families, and to celebrate life with fervor. Ra, the Egyptian sun god, is the epitome of creation and rebirth. His daily journey across the sky in his solar barge symbolizes the cycle of life, renewal, and the illuminating power of the sun. Ra's role as a creator god speaks to the creative force within the gay community, the ability to generate culture, art, and life in the face of adversity. His unwavering path across the heavens, a metaphor for the gay community's journey towards visibility and acceptance. Ra's legacy is one of resilience, the power of light over darkness, and the daily renewal of hope and strength. Set, the Egyptian god of deserts, storms, and foreigners, is often seen as a figure of chaos and change. His complex nature as both a protector and a challenger of the status quo speaks to the gay community's experience with disruption and transformation. Set's association with the margins of society and his role as an outsider resonate with those in the gay community who have felt the sting of being different. His strength in adversity and his ability to adapt to change are qualities that inspire resilience and innovation. Set's presence in our spiritual landscape is a call to embrace our unique paths, to find strength in our differences, and to weather the storms of life with determination. Now, these next few may not be deities per se, but we can honor them and find connection with them just the same. Siddhartha Gautama, known as the Buddha, is not a god but a spiritual teacher whose insights into suffering and enlightenment have touched countless lives. His teachings on compassion, self-awareness, and the release from suffering are universal, offering solace and guidance to all, including the gay community. The Buddha's journey from prince to enlightened one is a powerful narrative of self-discovery and the quest for truth, themes that are deeply relevant to the gay experience. His emphasis on loving-kindness and the interconnectedness of all beings is a call to embrace our shared humanity with empathy and grace. The Buddha's influence encourages us to seek inner peace and to extend that peace to others, fostering a world of understanding and acceptance. The wolf spirit, revered in various Native American traditions, is a powerful symbol of loyalty, family, and community. Its role as a teacher and pathfinder resonates with the gay community's values of chosen family and the search for belonging. The wolf's deep connection to the pack and its collaborative nature reflect the importance of solidarity and mutual support within the community. The spirit of the wolf teaches us to honor our relationships, to rely on each other's strengths, and to move through the world with confidence and purpose. The wolf's presence in our spiritual practice is a reminder of the power of unity and the warmth of community. The coyote spirit, a figure revered in various Native American mythologies, is the quintessential trickster, teaching us the wisdom of adaptability and the joy of life. Coyote doesn't just walk, he dances between worlds and stories, embodying the essence of transformation and reminding us that identities and roles are fluid, not fixed. For the gay community, Coyote represents the ability to thrive in a world that often tries to impose rigid norms, encouraging us to find clever ways to express our true selves. He is laughter in the face of adversity, the irreverent joke at the tense dinner table, and the smile we share with a stranger when we recognize a kindred spirit. Coyote tells us that change is not just inevitable but something to be embraced, to be celebrated with a wag of the tail and a knowing wink. Hearn the Hunter is a spectral figure from English folklore, often associated with Windsor Forest and Great Park in the English county of Berkshire. He is said to have antlers growing from his head and is considered a ghostly leader of the wild hunt, an embodiment of the pagan spirit of the forest and wild animals. For the gay community, Hearn represents the untamed aspects of nature and the human spirit, a powerful symbol of natural instincts and the freedom to roam the landscapes of the earth and heart. His antlers, like a crown, show strength and the regal beauty found in the natural world, reminding us to stand tall and proud. Hearn's mysterious aura invites us to embrace the unknown parts of ourselves, to explore the depths of our psyche, and to find solace and strength in the solitude of nature. Ku Holland, also known as the Hound of Ulster, is a legendary warrior from Irish mythology. His tales are of epic strength, heroic deeds, and a tragic destiny. He is celebrated for his beauty, his fierce loyalty, and his prowess in battle. In the gay community, Ku Holland's story can be seen as a metaphor for the inner battles fought by individuals as they strive for acceptance and the right to love openly. His loyalty is akin to the bonds formed within the community, where members stand up for one another in the face of adversity. 
Moreover, Ku Holland's training under the warrior a woman on the Isle of Skye highlights the importance of mentorship and the passing down of knowledge within the community. His life, marked by both passion and sorrow, reminds us that our walk in life are often fraught with challenges, but also filled with moments of profound beauty and strength. The Fianna are legendary, semi-independent warrior bands in Irish mythology, most famously led by the heroic Finn McCool. These bands of noble fighters were renowned for their bravery, skill in battle, and deep camaraderie. The Fianna, living on the fringes of society, bound by loyalty to each other rather than to any king, symbolize the importance of chosen family and community within the gay experience. Their tales often speak of deep bonds that could be interpreted as transcending friendship, resonating with the gay community's understanding of love and loyalty. The Fianna's rigorous admission tests, which included not just physical prowess but also requirements of poetry and wisdom, reflect the gay community's celebration of multifaceted identity, strength and sensitivity, courage and creativity. Their existence outside the normal societal structures mirrors the queer community's often alternative family structures and social circles, where acceptance is based on mutual respect and shared values rather than bloodlines or conventional norms. In the context of gay aesthetics, the Fianna's tales can be woven into narratives of resistance, resilience, and the celebration of unity and diversity. Their stories inspire us to form our own bands of brothers, sisters, and non-binary allies, creating spaces where we can be our most authentic selves, fight for our collective rights, and support each other through the trials of life. The Fianna's legacy teaches us that our strength is multiplied when we stand together, and that every member of our community has a unique contribution to the rich tapestry of our shared history. While we've been journeying through the Pantheon, embracing the gods and goddesses in all their glory, there's one deity whose story can really speak to the gay man. Dionysus, often wreathed in ivy and bearing a cup of wine, is not just a deity of merriment, but a symbol of life's dualities. Born from Zeus and the mortal Semele, he straddles the realms of the divine and the earthly, much like the gay community bridges different worlds with vibrant resilience. His followers, the Menads and Satyrs, found freedom and ecstasy in his rites, celebrating the fluidity of identity and the breaking of conventional boundaries. Dionysus himself is a figure of liberation, his myths often featuring themes of transformation and the shattering of the status quo. In the gay community, Dionysus would be the patron of pride parades, where the streets become stages for the theater of the self, and every individual is both audience and performer. He invites us to embrace our innermost desires and to express them with joyous abandon. His cult was a refuge for those on the fringes, offering a space where the marginalized could wield power and command respect. In the modern context, he champions the cause of acceptance and the celebration of one's truest identity. Dionysus's twist in our narrative is a toast to the unexpected, a reminder that within the gay community, there is a place for every story, every identity, and every form of love. His presence in our pantheon is a call to live authentically and to find the sacred in the profane, the spiritual in the sensual, and the community in the individual. With Dionysus, we recognize that our celebrations are not just parties, they are acts of defiance and declarations of freedom. So, there you have it, my enchanting friends, a twist that shines a light on the past and illuminates our present, reminding us that in the world of gods and men, love has always been the most powerful magic of all. And just like the phases of the moon, our mystical journey must come to a close. We've danced with Pan in the wild forests, basked in Apollo's radiant acceptance, and walked the crossroads with Hecate, embracing our truest selves. From the flirtatious fawn to the all-seeing Odin, we've seen how the divine reflects our own nature, in all its gay glory. Remember, these deities aren't just ancient myths, they're reflections of us, our community, and our love, timeless and transcendent. They teach us that our spirits are as free as Hermes' flight and our hearts as fierce as the Morgan's cry. So, do you feel as if you can embrace any of these? You can always do some research of some of your own chosen deities. Only you can cast that final spell. If you felt the magic, like this video, subscribe, and share the enchantment. Don't let the magic end here, join our community on Discord, link below, and don't forget to visit GayPaganHaven.com for our latest jewel collection, where every purchase is a potion for more content like this. I'm Brightwolf, your mystical misfit, 
hoping that this assisted you with creating a deeper bond or forming a new connection with the deities of your choice and encouraging you to research those that I haven't covered until our paths cross again under the moonlit sky. As always, live in love and light and blessed be.